Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart one of these countertop dishwashers. Found it on garbage day, unfortunately it doesn't work. And the nice thing about these is I could bring it into a scrap yard as is and get appliance weight price. Currently in London, Ontario, appliance weight price is about five to six cents a pound Canadian, which is a good price. This is very heavy in its entirety. It weighs 65 pounds. However, there are a lot of goodies inside. There's lots of copper, brass, silver, a lot of tin, and I'm gonna make a lot more money taking the time to separate these items. So what I wanna do today is not only show you how to identify the materials, but how to separate them properly, and more importantly, maximize your profit and divert this entire thing away from the landfill. So here we go. For the sake of time, I have already removed the outer screws and that does reveal this nice heavy shell here. This shell, if I put a magnet to it, it does stick. So this is going to be going into my tin shred pile. And currently in London, Ontario, it's going for about seven to eight cents a pound. It has unfortunately dropped from last week being 10 to 13 cents a pound. So seven to eight cents a pound right now, still a great price. Um, and you know, it does easily add up in weight. So a nice shell there. I do, once I take that shell off, have a lot of items to uh, remove, a lot of screws. Um, the bottom plate here, this is plastic, unfortunately not scrap value. But because of the thickness of this, I can put this into recycling. The bottom here, I have also removed the bottom plate. This plate as well is magnetic. So this is going to be tin shred as well. But it does have some really nice wire on here. This wire, because it is um, one single stranded with one coating of uh, coating plastic, this is going to be classified as 60% appliance wire. And currently in London, Ontario, this wire here is going for $2.74 a pound. So a great price for this. And you definitely want to make sure you separate, separate it from other appliance wire that is 40%, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So this is great. I do have to make sure I remove the screw, uh, but this is also going to be tin. Inside of here, when I open this up, you can see there is the inside. First thing I want to look at is the basket. Easy to remove. I have seen people put replacement parts like this online. Uh, this one, however, is very damaged. Some of the coating is coming off. But nice thing is if I put a magnet to it, it does stick. And that's because this basket is tin coated with plastic. So I can throw this into my tin pile as is. I do not have to remove the wheels. Um, so that is great. Another piece of tin. Inside of here, you do want to check screws as well as the box. If I was to put a magnet to this box and it did not stick, that would be because this is going to be stainless steel. As well as the screws. Some screws inside of these appliances, the manufacturer will put screws with a heavy coating of um, to make them stainless steel so they don't rust. These ones, unfortunately, are magnetic as well as the box. So because this is all magnetic, it's going to be the same price as tin shred. If it was non-magnetic, it would be stainless steel. And currently stainless steel, you're getting about 70 to 75 cents a pound Canadian, which is an excellent price. Um, and as I said, screws, I do have a container of screws in here that are non-magnetic that came out of dishwashers and other appliances that always are submerged with water. Um, but again, these ones, very easy to tell. Put a magnet to them, they stick. So these are still worth money. I'm gonna put these in a container and get tin price for these as well. Um, and I just actually brought in at the scrapyard last week, 10 pounds of screws and bolts from scrapping. So easy to add up weight and definitely putting them in a container, safer for travel. The box in here, I don't have to touch anything on this. If I was to just show a top view, there are a couple interesting things that you see here. I have a silver contact box here that I'm gonna get. As well, these clamps, interestingly, if I pull them out, they're connected to the wire, I'm just gonna pull one out. 
And I've never seen this before. I'm glad I checked, but these look like brass, but you do want to make sure you check. So I always use a file, scratch it to remove some of the top surface. You can see the gold underneath as well. So these clamps are brass. This is going to be yellow brass, currently going for about $3.50 a pound. There are a couple of them. They're definitely not a pound. It's very light, but it definitely adds up. So a couple brass prongs here as well. I have some wire here. And a moment ago, I talked about 40% and 60% appliance wire. This as is would be going for 40% appliance wire. And that's because you see two individual coated strands of wire with an extra outer coating of plastic. Scrapyards look at two things when they are uh, grading your wire. They look at copper to plastic ratio and copper recovery. Because this has two coated strands as well as an outer coating, this would be higher plastic, less copper. So this would be 40% appliance wire and currently going for $1.64 a pound Canadian. Uh, but easy upgrade, watch this. Very simple trick, garbage now. I just upgraded it from 40% to 60% and gonna get the $2.74 a pound for that. So uh, very easy to do that uh, and a very obviously a good trick to maximize profit. You do wanna make sure you check inside. That is copper, so we're good. I have seen some appliance wire made from or with aluminum, so you do wanna make sure you check that. Aluminum definitely has to be separated from your copper. Turning this around, I do have on the side a circuit board here. I've already removed uh, on here, as well as a very rusty transformer. You can see this obviously was exposed to some water. Uh, there is a great spool of copper in there that I'm gonna show in a second. But interestingly about these circuit boards is this circuit board, I can bring it in and get e-waste price, which is about five cents a pound. It does have, however, one, two, three, four small relay boxes there, as well as a large one here. These actually contain a small spool of copper as well as some silver. Um, so I've already actually, for the sake of time and video, removed this one and I have opened it. All I do is actually just take a hammer and just hit the side of that. It does pop off to reveal a beautiful number two spool of copper. As well, opening this up, you can see right there that dot as well as that side, those do contain silver. There's a little bit of silver on that. So these are your silver contact buttons. Um, these boxes are your relays, but I do cut that silver off, put it in a container, and hopefully I will refine it in the future. But great source of number two copper here too. And this is going for number two copper, $4.45 a pound Canadian, which is an awesome price. Um, and definitely it all adds up. So some great copper there. The transformer, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna open this one, but very easy to remove the panel here. Just take a pair of pliers, pull it out. This is some tin. And what it reveals is a bunch of different plates. These plates are two plates intertwined together. Um, and I could bring these transformers in as is and get 10 to 15 cents a pound, but because of the copper inside, that too is number two copper, and I'm gonna make a lot more money from that copper. And the great thing about it is because this is metal or metal plates, this is also gonna be tin. So I'm just gonna upgrade from this. Very simple to do. The first two plates are the hardest. I first start off with just taking a hammer and just loosening them up, just doing this very quickly. So you can see that it kind of bends the plates do have to make sure as well, they do have a really nice thick tape on it. So in order to make it easier to loosen up, you do want to remove that tape. But there is my prong, first prong. I'm just going to take a screwdriver, pop it up a little bit just to release that plate. And very simple, I'm just going to use my um, vise here. I'm going to put it in the vise and I'm going to go the opposite way of the plate. So the plate goes in this way. I'm gonna take a screwdriver and hit it outwards. So that's the first prong I'm gonna do. Just to show you, grab my flathead screwdriver. 
screwdriver, my hammer, just hit it out. There it is. And then I'm just gonna grab my side cutter, pull it out. There is my first plate. The next one, I'm gonna go the opposite way, just to pull out that plate. So again, hit this with a hammer. There it is. Pull this plate out, there it is. There's the next one. So two plates here that I have that go into each other. And now that I've loosened up the first couple, they are obviously just gonna start sliding out. You might have to loosen up the hammer again, but here again is another plate. I just put these as well into a small container and I will get tin price for that. There are little pieces like that as well that will break off. So it can be sharp. You definitely wanna make sure you use gloves and definitely eye protection when you're doing this because the points on this can be sharp, but a transformer, you have some really nice right here, some more appliance wire. This is also gonna be putting and looking inside as copper. This is some more 60% copper recovery. But there are a couple from here. Here's a couple more. This was from the side panel as well. This was where your detergent went. Uh, you can still see some gross detergent in there. But two more silver contact or relay boxes there that are gonna have the silver as well as some copper. So I'm gonna pull that off the side. Gonna go to the bottom now, just to show you. Here I have a couple really good items. I have some wire that I'm just gonna cut just for the sake of this video for visibility. There we go, cut as much of this off as I can. Okay, I can see the motor there, the copper motor is right here, but I wanna get this wire, there we go. So it all adds up and Someone asked me in another video, does it matter if I have the pieces like this on here, the heads? I do cut these off. Um, I will put these actually, once I, if I can screw them off, I'll put them into tin. But in order to maximize my price, I do want to make sure all coatings like this are off. And I do cut pieces like this off. I will put these into my 40%, but the rest of this will go into my 60%. So definitely want to make sure, as well as these zip ties, I do pull these off just so a scrapyard does not have an excuse to downgrade it. Okay, so I do remove these. But again, some really nice wire here to separate. Um, this wire, here is your main plug-in wire. These wires actually look like the same thickness of your microwaves. This as well is gonna be an example of your 40% wire. Notice inside it has the three coated strands there that have coating on them as well as the outer coating. This is gonna be your 40% and this is about a pound which is great. So $2.64 or $1.64 for this. I do have brass connectors there, brass prongs. Some people pull them off for, put them in the brass. Some people leave them on for weight. I do pull them off. I will put these into my brass. Uh, I have a big bucket of prongs but very easy to do. Just all I do is have to just twist one like that comes off, look at that, boom. So I take them off, but again, um, this is gonna be your 40%. And I did have another comment, someone asked, isn't it better to strip this outer casing? And I say no. If I was to strip the outer casing off this, I'm losing a lot of weight from this, from the outer coating. And in my experiment and experience, I am not gaining anything by taking that off. So I will leave this as is uh, and get the 40% appliance wire as well as my brass prongs. The motor here, you can see it. Once I kind of pull this panel, uh, do have a couple hoses that are connected that I do have to cut. Um, and I'm not gonna cut them for this video, but this motor, just gonna see if I can kind of pull it off. Uh, there's a clamp that I have to get. A couple screws that I have to work at. Uh, but gonna just quickly see if I can open it but I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna do this one later, but just to show you the motor, this is the motor that is gonna be inside of this. And currently right now, these motors, I can get um, 10 to 15 cents a pound Canadian for these as is because of the copper. However, this copper, very well worth your time taking it out. All I actually do is I will take a grinder and I will cut down the outside here, this will pop off, and then I will just put it into a vise, and I will actually hit it 
through um, with a just a punch and then the spokes will come back through here and I will have some really nice number two copper. And as I said, number two copper right now, copper is the scrapper's gold right now, continues to rise. Number two copper, I think I said earlier was $4.60. It's about $4.70 or 80 cents a pound and continues to go up, which is great. You do want to make sure you check. I have now seen, especially recently, the wires look like copper, but if you scratch it, it reveals a metallic look. So this is just a, another washing machine that I actually just took apart. Going to scratch that to see what it is. And as you can see inside of it, this one is copper. Okay, so as I said, if you scratch it and it reveals a metallic look underneath, it is aluminum disguised as copper. It is not worth your time taking it apart. I would just throw them in uh, as is to my tin shred. But because these are copper, this is definitely going to be worth your time to do. And I do actually have separate videos showing you how to remove the copper out of that uh, on copper bearing motors. So if you're interested, go check that out. If I was to put a magnet to the rest of this, this is going to be, this frame is also going to be tin shred. I do have a small black capacitor here. These capacitors, I actually just bring in as e-waste. There is really no value to those. I have seen some people put them online for parts. But again, the rest of this is going to be tin shred, this box. These motors here, this does contain copper, this motor. Um, that I hopefully just gonna see if I can pry off. Where is that? Just gonna see if I can break it off. But I do have a video also on these. There we go. This motor, very easy to recognize. There's, I uh, just took apart a bigger washing machine, had two of these. This inside does have copper and very easy to do. Once I remove this metal plate, I actually just cut down the top and I will put a pair of needle nose plier, pl 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 pliers in there and I will just pull out the small thin copper strand. Uh, again, if you are not the type that use that time, you can put these into your copper bearing motors as is and get the 10 to 15 cents a pound for it for sure. You do want to make sure these prongs check. These are brass if I check. They are non-magnetic. So I do pull these off and I will put these into brass. Very simple to do, as you can see, just pulls off. You gotta remove the plastic, but there is a prong right there and some copper here. So really good items in here. As I said, the rest of this frame is gonna just go into my tin shred. Wanna make sure I remove the this 60% um, appliance wire. The rest of this outer motor is gonna be metal once I take out that copper. The plastic here, I can leave this on uh, but I definitely want to make sure I get all of these uh, wires. There is as well, right here, sorry if I can move this, try to bend this down here so you can see. Underneath this box, my hand is, there is a little bit more brass there. There is another small silver contact box as well. But again, the rest of this is going to go into the... Um, scrapyard as is. I do want to remove these. Um, I have seen some people bring these in with this. Um, now with the price of scrap and tin, the scrapyards are getting a little bit more picky on these. But as you can see, there is no magnetic force here. A little bit at the top here, but they are going to just uh, ask us to remove this. And this is very easy to do. This hose just unscrews. Um, and I will unfortunately have to throw this into the garbage uh, as a hose. Uh, I do want to make sure I cut off these connectors though, get as much off as I can. Um, but um, the rest of this is garbage. But as I said, very simple to do. I have only found about three or four of these. Um, you know, easy item to collect, loads of copper wire inside. Really beautiful copper motor. You've got some really nice silver contacts on here as well as some number two copper on that some brass the transformer as well some really nice copper and a nice thick heavy piece of tin or shred so hope you enjoyed the video please comment down below like share subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one tin man out